story time. I have to tell you about a crazy listing agent that we encountered. And I just, I, the story I wanted to share with you is just a great reminder in how we deal with appraisers. So this appraiser went out on this property and the property is in great condition. It made value, but there was one thing that the appraiser notated that there was potentially a leak underneath the sink and that he had to have confirmation that there was a, not a leak and if there was, that it was fixed. Well, it was minor, kind of a pain in the butt deal. Um, but the whole problem was, was that there was tape in certain areas, I guess tape and bedding, whatever that means. And it made it look like they were, there was a leak that they were trying to um, take care of or whatnot. And so this listing agent, when he found out about this, he went ballistic and he started texting our appraiser over and over and over and sending him threatening texts. Now, at first, when the appraiser complained to me and asked me to tell the listing agent to please stop contacting him, I thought maybe he was being a little dramatic and maybe it wasn't really that big of a deal until I actually did tell the listing agent to please stop messaging the appraiser. The appraiser even said, I'm gonna report him, um, I need him to stop, yada, yada. And then he started texting me. And I mean, this guy was crazy. He was crazy, just all the crazy things he was saying over a leak, a little, not even a leak. It was, a, it was not a leak. It was just because of what material was around the pipe or whatever it made it look like it. There wasn't even a leak. He went ballistic and he was sending me messages saying one thing he said literally was that our appraiser was the root of all evil. Oh, I mean, I, what? <laughs> like, that was literally the text and demanding that we, that the mortgage company is responsible for this appraiser and we have to pay for this and, and you know, yada, yada, yada. And I was just like, okay, first of all, I think it's, it's so easy when any of us are emotionally involved and, you know, we're depending on paychecks for these closings. Um, it's important to take a step back and to really look to see, is this really that, that big of a deal, right? Or is it something that we can go ahead and collaborate and get this worked on, get this settled and figured out? And he just wouldn't have it. He would not answer his phone. He would only text and he would only text threatening things. So the other point to this that I just wanted to kind of remind everybody is that, you know, there, there are some instances where the appraiser's kind enough to talk to you guys, message you guys, because they really don't have to communicate with anybody after the appraisal is done. He was nice enough to do that. So for this realtor to go back and be texting things like, you're an idiot, you were unqualified to do your job, all of those things, I'm going to report you to the appraisal board, all of these things, of course, you know, you, you gotta, what is it about the honey? You gotta kill people with honey, kill people with kindness, whatever it is, you know what I mean? And maybe he would have gotten somewhere, but he chose to do the opposite. And so just as a reminder, number one, the appraiser does not have to talk to you after the appraisal is complete. And if they do, be super, be kind. We need them to work together to get this deal closed, right? Um, so just a wild situation. I know that you guys are the realtors I work with. Y'all, I know, do not do any crazy bat, you know what, crazy stuff. But I just wanted to remind you guys the possibilities that an appraiser can report you if you are messaging them with pushy things, with threatening things, um, trying to compromise whatever situation, they can report you. Um, so just remember that. And then they, I don't know, I don't even know what else to say about that. I was just blown away. I wanted to tell you guys the day it happened, but then I was like, oh, of course this realtor would probably get a hold of my video and um, hold up closing or whatever because he was crazy. But luckily we're closed now and I can share that with you. I hope you guys have a great day and just remember if something like that comes up, just remember it's not the end of the world. Work through it. I was trying to give him suggestions on how we can work, how can we work through this? And I completely understand your frustration and yada yada, but he wouldn't have it. I hope that was entertaining for you guys. I will talk to y'all later. Call me if you need me. Bye.